Caddis Maximus here. Uh, I'm going to do a few videos. I actually picked up this DeWalt 36 volt nano lithium set. Uh, actually, at a community church sale. Sometimes those happen. I don't go to them very often because there's usually just housewares. But uh, it's just a garage sale at a church where a bunch of, I guess, church members bring in stuff. Surprisingly enough, 50 bucks. Talk to the original owner who had bought these. 15 years ago and actually he was pretty sour he had replaced the battery about six years ago with new batteries i uh, had the first set fail didn't run them for many years and that was the big problem was that these nano uh, ferrophosphate batteries they had some type of issue maybe it was with the early ones but they would just fail sometimes very quickly even though the wall advertised them to take 2000 charge cycles it was really a big black eye DeWalt has, still, has since just completely eliminated their 60 volt series. None of this is made anymore. Old stock batteries they want 200 bucks for. And the guy was pretty burned. And actually I had mentioned this drill in an earlier video and somebody even commented on that video about they won't ever use DeWalt again because they got burned by the nano lithium batteries. And it's a real shame. What's also a shame is that uh, they discontinued all the tools and since DeWalt went with you know more standard cobalt lithium batteries that are much more reliable than the, the nano ones that they still just threw away the 36 volt lineup and you know went with their 40 volt uh lawn and garden equipment and their flex volt 60 volt and it didn't make any sense that dewalt just for no real reason uh killed the 36 volt lineup uh it was they did burn a lot of customers with that that being said, you I mean at the time, this drill, I think, is in, indeed from 2006. We do have a date code somewhere in here. There it is. Let's see if you can't see it. 2006. So actually, that would make these, I think that would make these 16 years old now, but I'm just saying 15. Back then, this was the biggest, baddest drill the Walt had made. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to do a, like a review of each of these tools because these were the baddest that DeWalt made and had available for many years. I'm going to do a review of each of these um, in separate videos. And we do have the impact wrench here. This is the DC-800. This is rated at 325 foot-pounds, but it never really seemed to deliver that. We have their big cordless drill. And, of course, we have their reciprocating saw. I mean... But this drill is just totally ridiculous. I mean, this, this thing is hugely heavy. But it was the initial uh, three-speed gearbox. It does use a ROM Supra uh, self-tightening chuck, which I'll end up retrieving off of that. Once again, the huge batteries. But this was before tools had any LEDs on them. Before DeWalt's more modern ergonomics. This battery has some life, but he said... Uh, it will charge, but it dies pretty quickly, so I should at least be able to get some demonstrations. But that was really the big deal. Back in the day, the early, the very early transition from NICAD and nickel metal hydride to the lithium-ion tools was what kind of born these, where you could have, you know, the first of corded power in a cordless tool. But these things are just enormous. If we take the DeWalt, this is the... More modern, this is the DCD-996. This thing actually has more power than this old 36 volt. And it is just, it's a bit shorter, it's a bit shorter this way. Even though this is a two amp hour battery and this is a five amp hour battery. We can see it's much shorter this way with the, I should go this like this, with the brushless motor, just way shorter. So as the three speed gearbox, so really heavy duty and actually arguably has a better chuck because they have the carbide teeth but it is amazing to see that the old 30 huge 36 volt uh, has been shrunk down less voltage at 20 at or 18 volts these are 36 which is surprising they're not using the i think like the uh 40 volt stuff modern is 30 is quote unquote 36 volt but you know of course they do the nominal charge advertising that's why this is 20 volt instead of actually 18 volts because it really is an 18 volt but nonetheless the tools now the modern brushless tools run on batteries that have half the voltage and put out more power so pretty amazing how far we've come in 15 years 
But that was just kind of a quick overview. Instead of blabbing on each one of the review videos I'm going to do about these, uh, I'm just going to mention that it was you know a big write-off for DeWalt, and they lost a lot of customers with these terrible nanophosphate uh, lithium-ion batteries. When what they should have done is just switched over to you know lithium cobalt some more standard lithium battery technology and help customers out instead they decide to discontinue everything and then you get people online who still think that oh my god it's the 36 volt it's unbelievable when they they just totally suck and the batteries are outrageously expensive when i once again when i looked online it was 200 to 250 dollars for old stock nano batteries uh, i couldn't find any knockoffs it's just these things are done they're, you know, need to be recycled. But there just isn't, since this was from an era uh, right at the beginning of YouTube, there just, surprisingly enough, isn't very many YouTube videos about these old uh, DeWalt uh, nanolithium cordless tools. And so that's kind of why I decided to pick these up and I'm going to make videos about them, is just to do a little bit of documentation, talk about them, tear them down. Talk about the beast mode charger. This is a beast mode charger. I mean, they really tried. It has full balancing. The charger is a 3 amp output, but they put in that nominal voltage 36 volts. Since these are lithium ion, they'll be charging up at you know 4.2 volts per cell, so 42 volts. That means this charger is like a 125 watt charger. I mean, it is a absolute beast. Something else that DeWalt doesn't do on current chargers is actually like on this is it, actually, it has a status. I mean, it shows you in the series of three lights how full the battery is getting, which would sure be nice on more modern chargers. I don't know why they got rid of that. To be honest, I mean, the impact wrench is probably okay, but the recip saw is probably the thing that stood the test of time the most because it was pretty powerful back then, and the 20-volt recip saws now are pretty powerful certainly get the job done and it's been a long time it uses exact same design the flip up quick release you know the button to adjust the shoe these old 36 volts were the premium so this had the all metal gear case on them or a lot of them were plastic now i think the biggest difference between the old 36 volt and the new lithium and the new generation is the grip these had the big old round grips where the new ergonomics really are quite good so that's my little video about the DeWalt 36 volt cordless tools. Kind of wanted to get that out of the way before I do individual reviews. And that way I don't have to <laughs> be include several minutes of, of talking in my next dedicated videos. Next dedicated videos, I'll see how well this actually runs a 2 and 9 16 cell feed bit, which is the big deal. Do some comparisons with the impact, of course, do individual teardowns. And leave it that. But I'll, of course, exit or leave the end of this video is do not buy any of these old nanophosphate DeWalt tools unless there's something like this where you just get a whole massive, you know, this set was probably, you know, even in 2006, this is probably $500 tool set. It's basically worthless now. It is this, they're essentially worthless. The only way to fix the batteries is you have to manually rebuild the packs yourselves. And they use something called A123 cells, which are kind of an odd size. And they're just brutal. This drill is just so unbelievably massive. I mean, this thing probably weighs 10 pounds. You're not going to want to lug this around in any kind of job site to do any real work. It's just, you know, they were ridiculous. And Bosch had their 36 volt. I think Makita did. Uh, I think at one point, every manufacturer had some kind of high voltage tools early in the lithium ion days and really they were just too big heavy bulky and way too expensive anyway that's my little video about my general video about in this case the dewalt 36 volt tool set i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do till next time caddis maximus out